time in the world. A doctor returns to Gallifrey, apparently having gone power mad, demanding to become the next president. Tom Baker is a fantastic actor who can bring class to any old top, and his mad rantings throughout the first few episodes of this story are certainly well worth watching, even if they are quite obviously a bluff. Gallifrey is facing an invasion from the Vardens, a race of beings who are capable of making their way along any kind of wavelength whatsoever, including thought waves. This should make them the most terrifying enemy the Doctor has ever encountered. Instead, nothing is ever made of their ability. They turn out to be a bunch of boring military types who say all the usual boring military stuff, and it turns out that they're just the fool guys anyway. Because, in what is quite honestly the most blatant way of extending the episode count of a story in the show's history, at the end of episode 4 it turns out the Vardens are just dupes for the Sontarans. This is meant to be a big moment, but unfortunately, at this point in the series' history, the Sontarans were not exactly big league Doctor Who monsters. They had previously been in two stories, one of them a two-parter, and both of these stories had been about a character who happened not to be human. For example, the Time Warrior asks the question, what would have happened if a Warlord, rather than a Time Lord, had been stranded on the Earth and had started acting as scientific advisor for the local military? Here, the Sontarans are reduced to generic Doctor Who monsters. They do all the usual generic Doctor Who monster stuff. They stomp about, they shout at people, they rant about how they're going to take over the universe. Their leader, for some reason, seems to have a Cockney accent. This Larry Geezer, giving it a bigger... Episode 6 involves a chase through the TARDIS, which for some reason seems to contain a lot of Victorian brickwork and also an abandoned hospital. That's the worst case of potato blight I've ever seen, sir. The invasion of Gallifrey should surely be a big deal, a real landmark episode, but the Sontarans here are comedy soldiers, more suited to a slapstick film. But then what does that say about Gallifrey? The fact is the Time Lords have lost all their majesty and mystery. Gallifrey is now just another planet full of people in funny costumes who need rescuing by the Doctor. The rest of the characters in this story just seem to be ciphers, including Leela, who had the potential to be a great companion and at least deserved a decent final story. Instead, she is just married off to the first wet drip that comes along. Though this story has its moments, it's guilty of being in love with itself and thinking that just recycling stuff from the show's past will work again. This is something that would later get out of hand and arguably contribute towards the show's downfall. <laughs> 